humoral immunity begins with phagocytosis where a macrophage has prevented and activated a helper T cell. These helper T cells can then go on and bind and activate specific B cells. T helper cells stimulate specific B cells only the one that will be able to bind to the specific antigen that it is presenting will be activated. Once the proper B cell has been found and stimulated, it undergoes clonal expansion. This causes lots of clones of it to be generated. The T help cell also aids in this as it produces the chemical interleukin-2, which helps stimulate the B cells. Each of these cloned B cells then undergoes a maturing process until it becomes a plasma cell. This plasma cells are specialised cells equipped to produce lots of proteins due to having many ribosomes. The plasma cells produce lots of antibodies each antibody is a protein formed in a very specific shape to bind to the specific antigen that would have been on the surface of the pathogen. The shape of the binding site is the same as the shape of the receptor site of the B cell. These antibodies are then secreted in large amounts into the bloodstream where they can either immobilize the pathogen or aid in destroying them. Once the pathogen has been eradicated, the B cells will slowly die off. Some, however, stay and become memory B cells. These help form long-term immunity. So, next time you are infected with the same pathogen, you get a fast immune response against it.